We've been given a first look at the art that will adorn the walls of the new Cross River Rail Stations. They're the work of 13 Indigenous artists. Four new Cross River Rail Stations will provide a platform not just for passengers, but First Nations artists as well. Plants, water, gathering time. Yeah, I think it's going to change people's days. I think people are going to really connect with the artwork and be excited to travel. An artwork that will greet tens of thousands of commuters every day in Wollongabba. One of four underground stations for the $6 billion Cross River Rail project. It will feature 14 pieces by 13 of the most exceptional First Nations artists in the country. They're all from Queensland, so what could be more exciting? And I think that shows the richness, phenomenal richness of art here. At Boggo Road, a red snake will slither over the walls. At Albert Street, the first CBD train station in 120 years, elevator indicators also provide a functional purpose to help vision poor passengers find doors. And at Roma Street, there's a 34 metre masterpiece. As you travel up and down the escalator, it's like a filming experience of place and memory and culture and people. Some are so big they could take months to install. All of the art will be installed as the stations are built over the next few years, with the first Cross River Rail train scheduled to leave in 2026. But you don't have to wait that long to witness the work. It's all on the Cross River Rail Station Art website at crossriverrailart.qld.gov.au. I want people to stop and peel away the buildings and the roads um, and the cars and everything and try and imagine how that landscape was for people, the first people of Australia. 